It was a really difficult time for the family, for Carol and Desmond, the family and loved ones today, as we heard a lot of uh, uh, details and a lot of uh, the realities of what happened to our, to Karina, to our loved one. Uh, some people have said, um, at least there's closure, but there is not closure. There's no closure. Uh, there never will be because a part of our soul is will never be with us and, and uh, we'll be there when in prayer and we'll keep her memory alive in terms of who she was and who what the gifts that she brought to uh, Carol, Desmond and the family. It's just, as you can just imagine, you know, the, the life sentence that was uh, was provided to him um, is, is, is never enough, but um, in, what is it, 14 years, Carol will be there again and will be providing her victim's impact statement with strength as she did today and as um, Desmond provided through Dorothea today. We need to be supportive to everybody that's out there. We need to support, provide support for the, for the murdered, murdered and missing women that are out there. Well, again, the Crown had sought 15 years, so I think it was right in the ballpark of what we had asked for, and uh, I think it reflected, as I mentioned, a, a very uh, difficult uh, the task of balancing the aggravating factors of the death of uh, yet another uh, First Nations young woman uh, with the fact that he confessed, which was the reason why her remains eventually were found by police. Rightly said today by uh, the lawyers and by the judge about vulnerable peoples and First Nations women being vulnerable peoples. It doesn't matter if we're walking the streets or, or walking the campus at the University of Saskatchewan, Regina, or, or whatever we're doing. We are placed in a vulnerable position. We see the numbers that have that, that indicate that. Hearing the, um, I guess, the, the circumstances of what happened and, um, you know, the realities of of uh, it even being said that she was placed in in the trash she's not trash she's not garbage and none of us are so there's a lot of um, yes fear when we when we even visit our local um, ball games or, or the malls or stuff there, there's that fear that we know that we live that we experience that it's hard to convey to anybody else and it's not just something about those people who need to buck up or those people who need to get stronger and about it because it's reality and we've seen it today.